Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to talk about standard deviations, the median function, the mode function, the average, and standard deviation for a whole population. So on the screen, I've got some examples and some sample data. So this is the sample data on the left here. You can see I've got gender, which I'm going to use for the standard deviations and this is the column that I'm going to use for all of these functions. So at the top, I've already got this. So I've looked at females, so all the females and the standard deviation from the mean average is 10.8 for the females. For the males, it's 11.10 off the average. The average itself, the average age is 41.24. Now the deviation for the whole population, that's everybody, male and females, from the mean is 11.72. Now in this list, the most common age is 33. The midpoint, this one, is 41. So it's the midpoint of a range of numbers, 41. So I'm going to recreate these functions down below. So first of all, let's do the median function. So you just type in there equals median, open the bracket. And then it's asking you to select the range. So I'm just going to select the range there and click the tick. So I get the answer 41, which is the same as that. That's the midpoint in terms of those numbers. The most frequent number in that list is the mode. So if I just go equals mode, select the same list, tick 33 is the most free, frequent number in this list. So you can see there's quite a few 33s there as you come down this list. The average of this list, that's an easy one, average, select the list, the tick is 41.23. And if I round it to two decimal places, it will be 41.24. So let's just do that. Widen that up Went the wrong way there. There we go. Now the STDEVP is a standard deviation for the whole population. So this is the formula for that. It's equals STDEVP, population, the whole population. So the standard deviation from the mean. Tick is 11.72 which is that there and again i can just reduce the decimal places so it's the same as the one above doesn't round up so it stays at that now the st dev function itself is apply applies to a sample population not the whole list so i'm going to go for the females in this list so that's the function there so type in equals st dev open the bracket now I'm going to click on just the females, holding my control key down and clicking on the females in this list. So there's three together there, and then there's three at the bottom. That's the, that's the population, that's the sample, not the whole thing. And I get 10.8, which is the same as I've got there. And again, I need to just bring the decimal places down. And you can see it's the same scores that I've got further up there. Just make those bold so they stand out a little better. So that's just a quick video of some of the functions you can use to get standard deviation for the whole population, for a sample population. Look to the median function, the mode function and the average function. So hopefully these little functions have been of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.